Okay, today we're talking about a furnace that is short cycling. I'm gonna hold the safety switch on so you can see what's going on. So the gas producer fan just kicked on, pressure switch closed, front surface igniter came on. Gas mount is open. We have flame across all of our burners. Flames look good. What's been happening is after about 20 seconds or so, the burner shuts off. <gasps> then the control board starts to restart the process again, and the burner shuts off. Then it starts to retry the light again, and it shuts off. So it's sort of cycling. And there you go. So some basic troubleshooting steps. We wanna look for the obvious things first. Is the return filter clean or is it clogged? I checked the filter, it's clean, it was replaced recently. Is there any loose or broken wire connections in this furnace? I did not find any loose or broken wire connections. So with the power off, I'm gonna check my flame sensing rod. I'm gonna check the wire connection. Wire connection looks good. I'm gonna check my ground wire at the chassis. That green ground wire goes all the way down to my plug and my board. Again, it's tight, looks good and clean. It's not rusted or corroded. So now we're gonna check the condition of the flame sensing rod. It's basically a stainless steel rod, but if it gets coated with soot, or rust or corrosion, it acts like an insulator and doesn't allow the flame rectification process to complete itself, which will cause the short, the short cycling that we're seeing. Yeah, so see all the, the black soot on that rod? So we need to clean that off with some steel wool. At the time, I only had this Brillo pad, which is essentially steel wool with some powdered dry soap. Ideally, just use regular plain steel wool. I'm gonna wipe off the, the yellow powdered soap after I'm done cleaning it here. Because <laughs> again, that, that flame sensing rod needs to be right in the middle of your flame. And the, the flame itself induces a current which completes the circuit and the path back to ground through the chassis, through the green ground wire to the board. Wow. But again, if you have corrosion or soot on there, it's gonna block that rectification process and cause the, the furnace to shut down. I'm just inspecting it. So the ceramic insulator looks good. It's not cracked. I don't see discoloration. Connector is good. Now you can see that hard to see on camera, but it's a lot cleaner now. So we should have a good electrical path for the flame rectification process. Again, just make sure you line up your flame sensing rod correctly. It needs to really be in the middle of that, that flame on that last burner tube. And you also want to make sure it's secure. If the flame sensing rod is loose or wobbly, that can also impede the, the, the flow of electricity cause that intermittent issue, you no know, poor connectivity.
And it's also a good idea to inspect or lightly clean the, the front of the burner tubes uh, where the burner box there the burner plates because if they're badly rusted or have a layer of soot or, or, or rust on them or dirt that could also excuse me also be part of the problem is, as as to preventing the flame rectification process from completing the circuit and make sure you reinstall the wire make sure it's tight just a safety note never touch a flame sensing rod when the power is turned on there's generally still going to be voltage going to the flame sensing rod there could be so for safety always make sure the power is off before removing a flame sensing rod and again I'm just inspecting all my burners looking for cracks and anything out of the ordinary Just checking that burner, see how clean it is. I'm going to take my steel wool and gently rub the front of that burner tube just to make sure I get any rust or dirt off of it or soot. Now when you do this, when you clean in your burner tubes, whether you take them out or clean them in place, the first time you go to fire it back up, you may see some orange flames. Uh, you may see some a little bit of you know the flames might dance a little bit because you knock loose some rust or dirt and it's burning off you know those dust particles dirt particles etc again just another final inspection and everything Power on, hold the safety switch in. Draft inducer fan motors turning, pressure switch closes. There's a hot surface igniter. Gas valve open. Yeah, that bright yellow you saw is all the dust and rust when it broke loose. Wow. I still see it's burning a little bit off. Still. I'm also looking for, for flame rollout. If you have flame rollout, that would suggest you have a problem with the heat exchanger. <gasps> Especially once the blower fan kicks on. You'll see flames roll out if there's a hole in your heat exchanger. The flames are starting to turn blue and calm down and burn thicker again. Woo! I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.